Okay, so we're now positioned onto the actual steering wheel and let's show it in action. So let's go into first gear first of all, put it into neutral, into first, into second, into third, into fourth. And let's go straight into reverse. There you go. So shifter is working well, clutch is working as well. So let's test it out. Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Logitech G920 steering wheel and shifter with a PC. So my PC is just over there, the spec of it is, it's a Intel i7 running at 3 gigahertz. the graphics card is an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 with 6 gig on there, it has a 16 gig of DDR4 RAM on there, and 120 gig SSD together with a one terabyte hard disk. So the G920 and the G29 steering wheels, they're literally identical. The only difference is the G920 is for an Xbox and a PC and the G29 is for PS3, PS4 and a PC. So setup wise, very similar. So you can use this tutorial for both the G29 as well and the G920. So I've laid out all the components here, you've got your steering wheel, your pedal, your shifter and the power cable. So initially let's get the shifter together with the steering wheel components all connected up onto our racing frame. Okay so I've laid out all the bits and pieces, racing frames here, this by GT Omega, I've got the power supply there, shifter, pedals and the steering wheel. Let me loosen all the cables up and I'll show it getting connected and then we can mount it onto the frame. Now looking underneath the racing steering wheel, you can see you've got some cable management points there and the connectivity points for connecting the components up. Power supply goes there, pedals go there and the shifter goes there. You've probably seen this in another video I've done, just the unboxing of the G920, but I'll quickly show how this is done. So we'll twist this cable round, put it through the cable management there and then we can connect up the other components. So this one is a USB connection point and this will be connected into your PC. So we'll put it round once to keep it tidy. The rest of the components can be tied round a few times on here just to get it nice and tidy on the frame itself so you don't want too much slack over the different areas. So it's nice clean setup. Let's place the pedals into position. And the connection point here, we're going to tidy up along the frame there. Next we'll position the shifter onto the area here at the side. Clamps can just be tightened up straight away. And now you've got the cable all dangling off the side. Now we're in position to connect all the cables up. We've got the power cable here. And if I plug that in and we run it once around this and then run it through the cable management just over here, make sure it's nice and firmly in. Next, we'll take the next cable, which is the shifter, and that goes over there. We'll run this through this area just to tidy the cable up because we don't need too much slack on this. Next, we've got the cable for the pedals. Plug that into the area just over here. And then we tidy this up. I think that should be more than enough. If there's any extra, we can just tidy it via Velcro on the side. And now if I flip this over, now we can clamp it down. and it's locked into position now. Now, as my PC is on this side, which is the right-hand side, I'll Velcro the cables on this to keep it tidy. So I've got the straps here. So now I'm left with the power to plug in and the USB. Just to show, right next to the PC, so it should be straightforward to connect up. My PC and TV's on now. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect this up. So USB is just here. Got a connection point at the back. Just connect it in. 
steering wheel power is just over here for now. Turn that on. Nothing appearing on the screen. Must be initialized. So now we need to install the Logitech software on here. Next, let's install the Logitech G Hub software. Now, I've done a Google search just to show Logitech G Hub, and it's the first link there. So now if we click on download for Windows, now it's downloaded, we can just click it to run it. And there you go, let's go through the installation. Download successful, locked and loaded, install and launch. Need to open firewall port, so let me click here and allow access. Welcome to Logitech G Hub, let's get started. Next to that, next to that, and a launch G Hub. Let's click no to analytics. Click the X and hopefully if we scroll across, there you go. So it's showing not connected. So what we'll do, we'll just give it a quick restart. I've restarted my PC, so let's start up the Logitech G Hub and show my mouse and keyboard. If I come across, there you go, G920, clicking on that. This is what you're presented with. So you can do button reassignments. And if I scroll down, it just shows what's possible and shows the different options available on there as well. You can easily change them. Let me go through the other options, the so keys, actions, macros, system. Scrolling down, quite a bit there. Let's go here, steering wheel. So sensitivity, you can adjust the sensitivity on there. Operating range, you can change that. Centering spring in force feedback games. Centering spring strength and pedal sensitivity. So you can change this as well. Coming over here in settings, nothing's shown there and that's it. If I now come back, we're ready now to test this out. For our next test, we're going to test out Euro Truck Simulator. So just to show a few things, so if I go to settings, go to graphics, I just wanted to highlight the fact we've got it on the highest ultra setting on there. Now if I come out of that and we go to drive, and just to show the realism you're given, if we look at the steering wheel, it's actually vibrating, giving the impression like a truck and the engine's running. So I've got the shifter here, as I've shown already, and my keyboard here, and I can just flip between the different views. And let's give it a go of driving this. Okay, so here we go. feels very good. The fact that it's even vibrating, I think that just gives that extra realism to it. Obviously the shifter's working as well, so maxed out at first gear, second now, flip the views. Very nice. And again, graphics wise, Obviously because the PC is a good spec, you get the ultra level of detail on there. It's a very nice feel to it. And graphically, very realistic. You can see the wing mirrors either side as well. Obviously I've enabled those indicators on there too. There you go, signaling out. 
Let's go to third. Excellent functionality there with the wheel. And again, graphics wise, looks absolutely stunning. Okay, so we're now positioned onto the actual steering wheel and let's show it in action. So let's go into first gear first of all, put it into neutral, into first, into second, into third, into fourth. And let's go straight into reverse. There you go. So shifter is working well, clutch is working as well. So let's test it out. Excellent functionality there. So this is how you set it up on a PC. So I hope it's helped anyone trying to do the same thing. The same applies for a G29 as well. I have done a previous video showing that but I thought I'd also do one for the G920. So there you go. I hope it's helped anyone thinking of doing the same thing. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.